Well, it's been a year since I got this Toro Time Cutter 54 inch with my ride option. As you can see, I still have my sole tag hanging on it. I absolutely love this piece of equipment. It served me very well, but it's time to cut my grass this year and um, I got to do some maintenance on it. We're going to be working with this no brand name Chinese kit that I got for my Toro. This oil filter looks about the same size, maybe a little bigger than my original one. New air filter. Spark plugs, I'm still gonna leave mine in. I don't think they're due. I barely have 100 hours on it. Inline filter, uh, it comes with a quarter turn shutoff valve, four hose clamps, and a piece of fuel line, six millimeter, about foot in length. So for this oil change, I set up the mower in such a way that the right side is slightly higher than the left side. Well, the reason for that is because if you look at the oil pan, it is slightly wider on the back than it is on the front. So you want your oil to flow from the back to the front and then out the drain hose. And I wish Toro made this hose a little bit longer, but it takes a three quarter wrench and a 12 millimeter wrench. While you're draining your oil, it may help if you pop your dipstick. So we got oil out, and I'm gonna screw the cap back on. Once again, I'm using three quarter and a 12 millimeter. It is time to move on to the oil filter. I'm going to be using this adjustable universal oil filter wrench um, as well as I'm going to be using a 6 inch extension with a ratchet. I cranked it loose. I don't know what to expect, how much oil is going to come out, but I got a rag and there's a little bit of oil. This is how a new oil filter compares to my old original one. As you can see, um, the new one is slightly bigger, about, I want to say, 10% uh, maybe. All right, new oil filter is in. It's time to fill up oil. I will be using 5W30 from Costco. I have about two liters in the jug, so I'm gonna just pour the whole thing in because it takes 1.9 liters. So I got the mower almost level to the ground and it's time to check for my oil level. As part of this maintenance, I will be replacing the oil filter. It is located under this cover. And oh my goodness, is it overdue. Next thing, I will be replacing this inline fuel filter. So it's just two clamps, one on each side. And uh, looking at this filter, you need to know which one is in, which one is out. So the line that goes up is your out discharge, and the line on the bottom is your in. The new filter is much bigger than my old one. Here's a comparison. About twice as big. So on my new filter, I'm also gonna be looking for in and out. And it's marked on the top right here. It says out and this says in. So 
my new one went in a lot easier than old one came out and I'm gonna just slide this clamp over top and do the bottom side on the old filter and just like that my filter is replaced it took less than five minutes and that's it as the last step of this maintenance I will be greasing these casters there's the zerk fitting right here and I will be using this miniature grease gun that I got from um, Harbor Freight I don't know how many pumps it takes the uh, owner's manual doesn't specify the only thing they specify is it has to be lithium grease so I will be watching as I as I pump I will be watching for the grease to come out all right so it took about 80 pumps before I started seeing grease come out on this side right here and um, I want to say that's about right so for all of you if you're going to be using this miniature grease gun you may want to upgrade to a bigger boy 